I've been working on Dineout Reloaded version 4 for almost a year, and the mod is in a better place than ever in terms of stability and features. I've got some cool stuff that will let you turn any restaurant into a full-blown bar or entertainment venue, so I think you're really gonna like what I got cooking. When the mod is installed correctly in your mods folder with script mods turned on, you should be able to turn testing cheats on and shift click the ground. If you don't want to cheat, you can also click the host stations in restaurants. This will show you the options menu and that's where we'll start. Most of the features are in here. Something new and highly requested in version 4 is that settings are done on a per restaurant basis now. So you can design each of your restaurants with a particular feel to them. Make one a fancy place, another a burger joint, and another just a bar. One of the things I'm most proud of in Dine Out Reloaded is that nearly everything about the pack is made optional. Don't want waiters? Use your own sims to take the orders. If you like, you can even place an order beacon that will show sims where to stand when placing their orders with your chefs so that you could set up some kind of counter to make it look like a fast food place. You do need to use the right settings, of course, so in this case, we'd want guest place own orders to be on. The formality of a restaurant can be altered in a couple different ways other than if waiters or the guests place orders. You can also stop the annoying animations that play when a host walks the guests all the way to their seats. I turned this off by default because it makes restaurants take way, way too long to get going. If you'd like to skimp on paying a host, you can just not hire one and use the guest seat themselves setting. If you do this, you will miss out on the buffs a well-trained host can give in that with high charisma, they can make guests feel quite welcome. Dine Out Reloaded does not require you to hire any NPCs when you own a restaurant. This is because your sim can actually do all of the jobs at once, though it can be quite tough to juggle them. You might hire a host to help you or set the guest seat themselves options, hire just a chef and be the waiter. It's entirely up to you. To help players with this, I have a couple new interactions. If it's taking too long to get meals out, your sim can apologize for wait, which will directly cut a portion of that table's wait time stat off. This will help you to avoid the penalty to your star rating. A new feature in version 4 is the ability to click your sim and pick wait on table, which is a helper function that runs the waiter's code on your sim so that they'll pick a group that hasn't been waited on and get their order into the system. A new feature in this update are the new bar patrons and the ability for owners to hire bartenders. When you turn on the restaurant is entertainment or bar setting, sims will come in expecting a good time. These sims prioritize fun objects and even rate your establishment based on how much fun they had. Having a mixologist on staff is a good idea because you can get some extra profit from those guests ordering drinks. As your mixologist levels up, they'll unlock all the recipes and be able to serve a wider variety of tastes. Your sim can also tend the bar if you so choose. This will let you use your own mixology level to determine the drink quality and all of that. Markup still matters here, but you can also use the new entry fee system. This only applies to bar and entertainment guests, but if you apply an entry fee, you can make money when sims first walk to the host station. This will impact how highly they rate your restaurant and limit how many points they get for fun, basically requiring you to provide a better overall experience to reach five stars. After all, free is cheap, and cheap can be good sometimes. I don't think a lot of players even know this is a thing, but in the background in Dine Out Reloaded, if you have clicked a fridge and set as produce inventory, then any produce in that fridge will be used to boost the value of your meals. I'm a bit of a stickler for balance, so realize that if you don't have a variety of plants in here, it's less likely one will be used. This is me stopping you from stocking it with only the single highest value fruit in the game. Having a few varieties at minimum is recommended for produce to be used in recipes. Want to serve burgers? The mod now has an option to add a small amount of money to every sale in order to make things like burgers, sandwiches, and appetizers more profitable. I chose not to apply any kind of penalty for doing this because right now Dine Out gameplay benefits heavily from players picking only the highest value recipes and I want you to be able to succeed with a burger joint if you so choose. Shout out to the Burger Boys!
New in version 4 is the ability for players to decide if guests will order appetizers, the main course, and or dessert. The order of these courses goes just as you'd expect, and with the guests eat politely setting, you can create a real fine dining time experience where sims sit for a few hours enjoying their meals before leaving. This is mostly about NPC sims because the player has always been able to order multiple courses. Having more courses is definitely going to slam your wait staff, so I am allowing players to start with three waiters, unlocking two more slots through the perk system. You can also start with one more chef. In my eyes, these are all management decisions. And I want to be clear about something here. If you experience a lot of angry customers leaving because you don't have enough staff or put down too many tables for your staff to handle, that's kind of a you problem. The mod is leaving those types of decisions up to you. One of the least formal ways you can run your restaurant is to straight up turn off standard dining groups and set delivery orders. This will have orders coming in over the interwebs and chefs will automatically cook them. Just make sure you use the set as delivery station on an appropriate chef station as this is where the chefs who will cook delivery orders will be serving them. Make sure guests can get to these delivery bags or they're going to be mad. Search Build By for Carl and you'll find the Order Up Digital Restaurant Display in Build Mode. This thing will let you see just how many orders are still waiting on a chef to cook them. You can use this in combination with the host station's Disallow New Customers to shut your restaurant down gracefully. Made for me by the lovely Ravashin, this object had some issues at first, but has been fixed as I finally got a broken save, so I could see why the stack controlling it was breaking down. If you use the extra standard diners or extra child diners, you can change how Sims 4 builds groups and get more than three Sims to a table. Really, three is the limit of the game, even if a family has multiple children. Anyway, it annoyed me. So I made this an option. It's not necessarily recommended if you're running the game on a potato, though. If you use the set as player chef station option, you can take advantage of the sous chef system. This simply changes how the game paces and places the serving of platters. If you set a station as player chef station with the sous chef system on, your sim will have the final say on the quality of that dish and it will be served from that station. So the other sims working are mostly just helping you finish meals and result in faster completion times for the main chef, which is your sim. Dine Out Reloaded fixes several major issues and many minor ones that interfere with restaurants. Player reported issues like children making a mess, sims digging in garbage, or singing while seated at their tables are all also discouraged. Sims that end up in conversations will also find they can escape this situation and eventually eat their meals. Sims are much better at staying at their own tables to eat meals. Sims no longer steal food and drink from other sims. And wait staff don't take food from guests the moment it's been placed. Wait staff are smarter about picking up dishes and act more like people. They're more efficient. There are a lot of little things that make the pack feel more human, and in my eyes, I at least partially achieved my goal of making Dine Out a much more enjoyable experience. Dine Out Reloaded version 4 is available in early access for my $5 patrons right now, and you can help shape the future of it if you sign up and join my Discord. You'll find a link to the mod in the description. But on to a nagging question some of you will have. I know it's going to be asked, but a lot of little things in my life made it really hard to make videos in the last year. I lost my mother, and I had some issues with my shoulder and neck that made video editing hard. I just didn't have the motivation to push through these things for a while. But I'm partially back to myself, and I'm happy to be doing something that the community seems to want me to do, even though it hasn't been making guides and videos. I'm lucky to have found something I really enjoy doing in the meantime. Anyway, thanks for watching.